Shalom, shalom, yashorala, shalom, shabbat shalom. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've come up and do a video, but Lord will. Uh, this movement won't stop. His work won't stop regardless of what we're going through. So, all, all honor and glory belongs to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? So today I decided to make a video on all the jakes, all the so-called African Americans that's living over there throughout the whole world, like to the four corners of the world, selling their soul for rich and fame. You know, they, 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 they don't know the consequences of selling their soul. All praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh because He set us apart. You know, we 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 never gonna be part of this wicked kingdom of Satan trying to deceive everybody. You know, trying to um, you know trick you. Don't let Satan trick you. You know what I'm saying? I'm brother uh, Tazadak Ben Levi. You know. Coming to you with this video. Hope you edify. Hope you, you know, learn something out of it. So to start with the scripture, I'm gonna start with Colossians chapter three, verse seventeen. It says, uh, it says Colossians three, verse seventeen. It says, and and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of our Lord and Mashiach Yahusha. Give thanks to the Most High, the Father, by Him. So, <clears throat> coming to you in the name of Yahusha to uh, glorify the Father, you know what I'm saying? To know that, you know, He's been the only one that trying to, like, save us. Not try, like, He actually saved us, you know what I'm saying? Out of this world. Because we can see this generation is, it's, it's all, they, 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 they all gone, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and mainly, I want to talk about everybody focuses on, on, on the basketball player whose name is Kobe Bryant. The, 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 the one they say, the legend. You know what I'm saying? He was playing for the Lakers. Everybody's focused on that. Everybody's going crazy. Even people that I see on the truth, you know what I'm saying? Saying that they're sending out prayers to the family, to all these other things. Understand this. This guy was, you know, what I'm saying, doing his his own thing and out of this world. Now that he's not in, he's no longer in this world. Everybody concerned. This guy was rich, you know, what I'm saying, you know, doing taking care of his family. He he didn't care about what we was going through, being the slave, and 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 and, and everywhere we go being poor, being, you know what I'm saying, misled by our own people. No, this this man was following, you know, rich and fans and, you know, trying to get richer. So Yahweh already read their spirit. So Yahweh took him out. And he was trying to get he was trying to take his uh, own daughter, his own child, to the same route. So Yahweh Yahweh Shai said, No. you can't you can't be an example in this world being wicked you got to be righteous you got to be doing what does save Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for you to last in this world for you to live forever the everlasting life you can't be wicked and teaching others to do wicked and thinking Yahweh just gonna sit here and let you go let you keep going no especially at this time this is the last days man this is the last uh, we 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 counting up seconds right now, seconds, minutes, before your house shall crack the sky and and then shut down everything. Yahweh only care for the people that love him, those that keep in his commandment. You know what I'm saying? People like to you know show that they care for somebody after the death. That's there. You see the uh, hypocrisy. You see how 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 fake that is 
when I was alive, you was never trying to find out where I was at for you to, you know, show me love. Why, when I die, you posting up my picture everywhere on every video and every comments, you you feeling sad. You feeling like you 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 be in touch. No, man, stop that. That's that's madness. Stop that madness, man. When when we gone now, we we see we got eyes to see. Yeah, how about yeah, how about Shin Yao give us spiritual eyes? We see, we can see from afar, man. You know what I'm saying? So this guy, before I go anywhere, let me show you what what what, what this guy was doing. So, uh, let's uh, let's go to Matthew 16. Verse 26 and see what the Bible says about people's people who has dream. Y'all have dream, y'all wanna achieve your goal, y'all wanna be famous, y'all wanna be popular everywhere on TV and everything. It costs, man. You think you think these things are just coming up and you just they just giving it to you for free? No. It costs you, man. And it might cost you the rest of your life, the rest of your soul. You, you might lose your soul. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not, it's no joke out here, man. So it's Matthew 16, verse 26. It says, "For what is what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul?" You trying to you trying to chase gold, you trying to chase money, you trying to chase all these other things. Y'all don't care about that. You ain't doing his will. As long as you're not keeping his commandments, he don't care about your life, your soul. He delivers you up to Satan. Satan get control over your soul. He don't know how to act. He can't be real. He's fake. He was created to be evil from the beginning. So he's going to take control over your soul and make you suffer for the rest of your entire uh, everlasting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Matthew six Matthew sixteen twenty six say for what it is, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? This guy, this man named Kobe Bryant, you know what I'm saying? He lose his own soul chasing what rich and fame, you know what I'm saying? Chasing, trying to get richer and richer, trying to trying to even grow his his own kids to be the same to to the same path that he was living. No. Yahweh Bashem Yahshah is in control of life and death. So they know your time limit. You know so they know how long you're gonna be here and how wicked you're gonna be to set up to, to live as as an example for the for the rest of his people. So once you do so much He's gonna take you out, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna show you how Satan tr trying to trick Yahusha, and Yahusha set that example. And it's written to make sure that he said, "Don't be deceived." Yahusha keep telling us, "Don't be deceived, man. Don't don't let the devil trying to uh, trick you and trying to give you these little things that's that's temporary." You know what I'm saying? All these gold, all these diamonds, all these riches that you see this wicked devil Esau is in control of Yahusha was created Yahusha created all those for only the nation of Israel for us to be bright for us to shine but due to what we did our ancestors did break his law break his broke his commandments so he cast us down we lose all now the devil the wicked Esau and all these other nations, they teasing us. They 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 they, they, they got it. It ain't theirs, but they have control of it right now. They trying to show you you can get it too, but there's a way to get there. You gotta sell your soul, and that's the one way. Yahweh 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 told us, don't ever let Satan get control over your soul. So let me go to the next scripture. Look, Luke, Luke uh, four chapter four. We're gonna start at verse two, I think. Okay, so Luke chapter four, verse two. It says, "Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing." It's talking about Yahushua. 
and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Chapter verse 3. And the devil said unto him, The devil, Satan, Esau, If thou be the son of Yahweh, command this stone that it be made bread. See how the devil trying to have you, you know, follow his um, rules and stuff? And Yahweh shall answer him, saying, It is written that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Yahweh cut him with the scripture, with the, with the law. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh didn't do what he said. Yahweh cut him with the precept. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to be, man. That's why 1 Peter 5 and 8, it says, Be vigilant, be sober, for your adversary, the devil, is waiting. He's he trying to see who, 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 who's next. He's going to devour. That's Esau. You know what I'm saying if you give him if you if you let him Yahweh make us to be strong man to, to to have faith that they have no power over us you know what I'm saying uh, chapter, uh, verse 6 Luke chapter 4 verse 6 it says and the devil said unto him no verse 5 so like Luke 4 chapter uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 5 it says and the devil take him up into a high mountain, show him, show unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that that is delivered unto me, and whosoever, whomsoever I will give it. And Yahweh <coughs> shall say, If that if in, in verse, like verse 7 say, If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be done. See how the devil trying to trick it? That's how they took this young man, only 41 years old. And many other young jigs out there, man, they've gone. They was chasing what? Trying to be a star, music, rap, you know, sang, you know, chasing football, you know, all these other things, man. It's not worth it, man. Verse 8, And Yahweh shall answer, answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. You see? That's how you that's how you you gotta you gotta cut the devil, man. Don't 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 bite your tongue for the devil, man. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the most high thy power, and him only thy shall thou serve okay only about now how man we shall worship we shall follow what he says so now if, if this man you know was if he was one of the the most high's elect he would never go through that bs that he just went through man he caught the tragedy whatever you know what i'm saying yahow was, was gonna be there believe it even if the devil was trying to have that Plot, you know, behind your back. He, he think he was gonna be su successful? No. Yahweh was gonna send his angel to save you, to protect you. He wasn't gonna get burned. No way. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the, the devil take you on a journey. You know what I'm saying? As a young man, you was in school, you got talent. So they like, oh, why not? You wanna be up there? I just need your soul. And you, you. You simply just give it to them. And let's see what happened. Let, let's see why you should never go that, that, that route. Because Yahweh, we, can, we got promises and written in the Bible that we'll be, we'll be thousand times greater than these trash years kingdoms that you see that's ruling everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They nothing compared to Yahweh's kingdom that's coming down soon. I'm saying so let's get to the book of uh, let's see Matthew, Matthew 6 I'm sorry 32 verse 33 I'm saying Yahweh Yahweh shall always run in his people man because he loves us man I'm saying 
Yahusha said, Matthew 6, verse 33 said, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All these gold that you're trying to chase, all these money. If if you seek first the kingdom of heaven, all these things are gonna come to you. That's what Yahweh shall say, man. Yahweh is not a man that he, sh he should lie. So you know it's the truth. Saying you seek first the kingdom of heaven, man. Don't worry about what tomorrow gonna win. And verse thirty four said, "Take therefore no thoughts of of the of the tomorrow, for the tomorrow shall take thoughts for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof." Saying, you got enough right now to, to survive, to live. And we, Yahweh shall show us how to play, man. Pray. Our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's the way, that's what you should be praying for. That's what you should be hoping for. That's the future. Not trying to, you know, be an NBA star or a football star, a rap star, all these other things, movie stars. Come on, man. What the hell up, Jake? Jake got a way caught me. The so called Haitians, the tribe of Levi, they're in it too. They are here, you know what I'm saying, losing, selling their soul just for, for a crappy meal. Just like this coon Kanye West uh, mentioned in his, in, in his freestyle that one time. He said he sold for a crappy meal. He knew that was, shit, that, that was a sh crap, uh, crappy deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you know you, what you're doing is wrong, why you do it anyway later on try to make it seem like you you regret it? You know, you, no. Nah. No way. You know what I'm saying? So, wake up, man. Repent. Yahweh is right there, man. He's close to crack the sky, man. And come destroy all these wicked kingdoms out here, man. All these people that's tricking uh, saying he's tricking his your house people you think he don't see no he just letting him you know uh, how you play the the you know xbox or playstation he just letting satan play his playstation right now his xbox until time's up until he cut the time short you know what i'm saying your house says seek ye first the kingdom of heaven man don't chase no Five NBA championships, six, seven NBA championship for freaking gold. That's not even yours, you know. I'm not trying to be a legend for this world. It's not yours, man. Our kingdom will come. We will, we, we will be the rulers of all these other nations. Believe it or not. So the truth, Yahweh says in John eight thirty two, the truth will make you free, man. The truth will set you free. That's the truth. They didn't want us to know that we, we Yahweh, we Yahweh's elect, we the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, African Americans, so-called Haitian, Levi, so-called West Indies. You know what I'm saying? We all, all we make the whole uh, twelve tribe of nation of Israel, man. And that's a hundred truth, man. Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahshat. So let me pull another scripture. So you can we can move on. So right here, let me go to let's see. So it, let me go to the Apocrypha, Ecclesiasticus twelve and ten. Let's see what it says. You're thinking these people are our friends. These people are our friends because they let us play in the NBA for them. They're giving us all these. They're giving us microphones, studio, we rapping. No, you're not your friend. That's, look what, let's read what the Bible says. Sorak, in the book of Sorak in the Apocrypha, chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Never trust thine enemy, for like a iron rusted, so it is his wickedness. Okay, so never trust the devil, Esau, Moab, Ishmael, Ishmael, Amalek, Ammon, Agar, 
all these other uh, Canaanite, Canaanite, all these other uh, nations, man, they don't like us. They never will, man. And the Bible even told us, man. You know what I'm saying? Never trust our enemy. They're trying to tell you, oh, let's go. You know, you can join our team. Oh, I, I support you. I sponsor you. They trick you, man. They trick you out of, uh, get you out of your good sense. So they can play in your mind. Get you to give them your soul. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's sad right there. You know what I'm saying? See how uh, these people try to act not saying, oh. This man was this, this man was that, this man was that. No, he should never go that route. That's it. Point blank, period. And all the rest of them, we got LeBron James, all these other NBA stars out there that try to, that trying to go that route. Y'all know, you now y'all see the the result, <laughs> and even worse later on, because <laughs> the devil know that he but he has but a short time. His time is short. He ain't playing around. He ain't giving you the, 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 the long extension as, as it was back then, you know, in, 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 the, in the time of like maybe the, the 1900s or the 1800s. You ain't getting that right now, man. You know he has a short time, man. World War Three is right around the corner. And all these other things that that's written in the Bible, prophecy, they will be fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? And then comes the end, man. Yahweh shall come in and destroy all of them. You know what I'm saying? And take and, and save his elect, the one third. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. He said for Yahweh shall they look the, the, the one of Luke that says let's see. I'm, st I'm still gonna stay in the apocryphal it says uh we go to the Bell and Dragon uh, 1 verse 5. Bell and Dragon in the Apocrypha. Bell and the Dragon. Verse 5. Who, who answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hand, but the living power of Yahweh, who had created the heaven and the earth. And had sovereignty over all flesh. You know what I'm saying? Our, our ancestors know better men. They, 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 they wouldn't go and worship no idols made by hand. The molten image. The gold that they made for the NBA players to keep playing and chasing up, up days after day. Man, every day they have you saying against your, your uh, God. Your, 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 your. How? Because you play, they make you play seven days straight. You ain't keeping no Sabbath. You ain't keeping no laws. You ain't stop eating shrimp, pork, or, or, or lobsters, and all these other things. You just, they just tell you, hey, do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And your house shall judgment is, that's why your house shall judgment is always fall on us. You know what I'm saying? It's always okay. Let's go to First uh, Chronicles sixteen, verse twenty six. See First Chronicles sixteen, verse twenty six. Okay, First Chronicles chapter sixteen, verse twenty six says. For all the gods of the people are idols, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall admit the heavens. All these, the gods that you so believe in, Satan and all these other, they're idols, man. They're nothing compared to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh is the Almighty, man. Yahweh controls good and evil. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to prove that too. So, don't chase no idol out of this world, man. It's not worth it. So let's go. Colossians chapter 3. I'll show you other things. Yeah, how I say, man, you should be following. Yeah. Colossians. Colossians 3 and 
So, Colossians 3 started at 1. Uh, if you then be risen with Yahamashiach, which is who the world ignored called Christ, seek those things which are above, where the Mashiach sitting on the right hand of Yahweh. Seek the thing above, man. Don't look for nothing in this earth, man. Everything was just already set up. It's a trap. Verse 2 Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay? Don't count on, don't, don't have to get your hopes on things that's on this earth. Yeah. Trying to go to university, big college, big this, big that. No, man. That's where they get you at. That's where they start getting you at. You have big dream, big, big, big vision. They want, they're going to help you get there, but it's going to cost you. you know what I'm saying? It's going to cost you a lot, a lot. And you're gonna regret. So let's go to the book of uh, Deuteronomy 27, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 15. It says, Curse be the man that maketh any graven or molten image. An abomination unto Yahweh, the work of the hands of the crafty man, and put it, put it, it in a secret place, and all the people shall answer and say, Amen. The curse. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh cursed us from the beginning. He said, Don't do it. Don't chase after those things, man. We should know better than that, man. We should teach our children. The laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Not to try to chase where Esau where Esau's at. Everything that's in everything that Esau owned or has, we taking it back. Once Yahweh give us that power, man. To go put them in slavery. They're gonna give it back. That's why they're so afraid of falling. The kingdom is falling, but they think that they can overcome that they think they can stop that but your house said man you must don't know who i am son <laughs> must don't know who's yaha bashing your shot man your house said you're gonna fall you got you gotta go that's, that's just plain and simple don't put your trust in multi years your house is seeking the things which is above which are which which thing this is that that's coming from above the new jerusalem you got your house shot coming down and all of the other things that we might not know of, because everything it's not all in the Bible. <laughs> everything is not written. This is just, just a little basic Yahweh gave us nothing to follow. You know, but He is us. So let's get to the book of First Corinthians, chapter five. First Corinthians chapter five. We're gonna start at verse nine. Say, I wrote, I wrote unto you, in a, in an epistle, not the company with fornicators. Verse ten. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the cut, captious or extortioner or with the idolaters for then must ye needs to go out of this world see Yahweh told us man Yahweh said man if you follow these things you're gonna be out of this world he's gonna take you out it's gonna you're gonna be gone man it's idolatry Yahweh don't deal with it don't worship nothing that 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 can't do nothing for you that loose thing can't do nothing. Verse 11. First Corinthians 5. Verse 11. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or cultures or an idolater or a railer 
or a drunkard or an extortioner with such as no one as such one know not to eat you know what I'm saying we don't have no taste in this world we don't know we don't know, we don't know. this man when I was younger I used to see him playing ball and all that but I'm, I, I wasn't really a big you know worshiper of you know what I'm saying no because I knew there was something behind that man I knew you know what I'm saying we gotta we gotta open our eyes man stop letting these devils snatching your soul man and y'all regret it and it's be too, it be too late you know what I'm saying because everything already predestined so Yahweh do his thing the way he want that's his pleasure he told us you know what I'm saying look at Isaiah 2 and 8 2 verse 8 look at Isaiah 6 yeah, it reads, the land also is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, that which their own fingers have made. That's what Esau's kingdom, that's that's the, that's what they do, man. The work of their own hand. They try to make you chase after the works they made with their own hands. Their own fingers had made. You know what I'm saying? And then they have you go crazy knowing knowing who you are, knowing... You are special people, man. You from the twelve tribe of nation of Israel. You, you are the first on top, above, special, royal. You know what I'm saying? Those things ain't false, man. This world ain't false, man. Just, just to get Esau bugged out of his mind. That's why your heart do it like that, man. All oh, praise to your how about you know what I mean? Because the, the how is, is, I'm telling you, man. Your how know what he's doing, man. He know what he's doing. The land, the whole America, the whole France, Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, England, Turkey, all these here, they even the land of Amalek, they, they, our own land that they stole. It's full of idols, man. They worship the work of their own hand. No, man. We don't need that, man. Get out of these things, man. Get out. Move away from them, man. Come to your father, man. Your your, your um, true love, man. Your first love. Your how about Shem Yahusha told us, man. You know what I'm saying? Your how told us. He warns us over and over, but we just... Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. So, Lord have mercy, man. It's, it's sad, but you should have never been there, man. You should never, never sign for that deal, man. You should have seen that deal. It's, it's, it's awesome. Jeremiah. No, I said Jeremiah. So like, yeah, James 1. Verse 12. James 1, verse 12. Okay, James chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Bless is the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord had promised to them that love Him. This is this is what we should be uh, waiting for, man. The crown of life, man. We're the true kings, queen, prince, and princess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah how I say He's gonna make us bright. He's gonna have us shine, man. We're gonna be ten thousand times. The way we are right now, that's nine compared to how your how we're gonna uh, we made us. Like we're gonna we give us a, a immortality body, man. That's that's our hope. That's what we should we should be waiting for. You know what I'm saying, but 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall be praised, man. Because he take us out of this world, man. I don't know. This I'm giving you right here is warning, man. If you guys want to take heed, it's up to you, man. Because you should see the, the, the direction of where you're going right now. Knowing the time, our salvation is nearer than we believe. You know what I'm saying? 2 Corinthians 12, 19. Let's see what it says. So... Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse twenty eight. It says, "Again, thank you that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before Yahweh and Mashiach, but we do all things dearly, beloved, for ye, for your edifying." That's what I just said earlier, man. Trying to edify you, trying to get you to come out of this world, man. Come out of the ways of of Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Repent. You know, come. You know, do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. If you can't teach, if you can't, you know, there's a congregate with the brothers and sisters. You know, go to the camp. Do what you can for Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. For the body, the, the body, the whole body need help. Whatever you, position you can be in, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's. You'll be blessed, man. That's the devil that mess us up, man. They preach you this, and later on they tell you to forget the past. You know they tell you chase the the graven image, chase the molten image. That's what you. That's what they do, man. They preach you another Yahusha, man. They preach you Satan right in your face, and you're sitting around just looking. The next precept will be Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1, verse 6, verse 15 and 16. You know, that, that's good. So, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. It reads, For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdom of the north, saith Yahweh. And they shall come, and they shall set everyone his stone at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all of the walls thereof, thereof around about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will order my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have, turned, have burned incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. Well, Yahweh has got a special judgment coming for for the two thirds and these are the nations man then Yahweh say he, he don't dwell in, in this temple that that made by him he's not in there Yahweh is not in there believe it or not first Peter 5 verse 4 first Peter 5 verse 4 we gotta, we gotta wake up, man. You know, when you seek those things which is above, look what is it? First Peter four. First Peter. First Peter five, starting at verse four. It says, "And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away." That's the everlasting life, man. That's your salvation, man. Not five in the championship and later on, you're gone. How sad is that, man? You can't even live peacefully, man. You can't even live the rest of your life in peace to be on this earth, man. You know. So... Another piece here, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter two. chapter two, verse nineteen. It says, "For, for what is our hope, or joy, or crown, or rejoicing, or not even ye in the presence of our Lord Mashiach Yahushua at His coming?" 
that that this generation this time that we in right now that should be our hope you know what i'm saying our joy joy every day man you gotta you gotta leave happily man forget what you don't have forget what you have if you have so many you think you're there you're not there yet you still gotta wait for the presence of our lord the house of mashiach man when it comes it gives you the crown then you, are, you, you know you made it you know you know you're there you know what i'm saying still gotta seek for these things which is above man not nothing in this world uh, Re revelation chapter 9 verse 20. And it says, And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold, and silver, and brass, and stone, and of wood, which neither can see, nor hear, nor work. Neither repented they of their murder, murders, of, of their sorcerers, sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their theft. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't repent, you know what's gonna happen, man. Yahweh told us, man, you gonna you gonna be you gonna be killed. You are gonna get burned. You know what I'm saying? The two thirds. Hey, I pray. You know what I'm saying, and hope whoever's watching this video, you one of your house elect, man, because it's not gonna be sweet. It's not gonna be sweet for real. You know, another piece of songs after ninety-seven, verse seven. It's not gonna be sweet, man. If you're not on on, on your house shop, if you're not on your house uh, side, be gone. Psalms chapter number seven verse seven it says, "Confounded be all they that serve graven image, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jakes find Jakes get to a point to where you they, they worship anything. They they bow down to anything. And Yahweh keep telling us, man, don't do those things, man. Stop being, stop trying to be part of Esau's plan, man. Let Esau do his thing, his own sacrifice. Let him, let him uh, uh, sacrifice his own, not us. You know what I'm saying? We need our soul. We need, you know what I'm saying, to be with Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, man. We've been going through it. We're still going through it, and we gotta endure. That's what the scripture says, man. We gotta endure, man. Yahweh Shah said he'll be with us, man. Till the end. So next we said, you know what I'm saying? Till the end, man. So I really put this. Uh, you know, we're not. We're striving, you know what I'm saying, to get there. That's just plain and simple. So I'm going to the apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 11. It's no joke out right here, man. It's 11. He said, Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creation, cre creature of Yahweh, they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. You understand that? Those idols, those things, they're trying to make you chase after. Yahweh says he's going to visit them. It's going to be a visitation. Yahweh going to destroy and burn all of them with these other heathen men. But you so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native American, y'all make sure y'all come out of there, man. That's what it says in the book of Revelation 18 and 4. Come out of her, my people, so you be not partakers of her sin, her plagues. You know what I'm saying? Get out of those ways, man. Just repent. You know what I'm saying? 
Keep the Sabbath day hard. Stop eating shrimp, crab, and lobster is not hard. Just pray Yahweh. Don't give you riches. Don't give you poor. Give you enough to survive. And so you don't be tempted and trying to be a star, fame, chasing after those things. You know what I'm saying? Don't give you riches. Don't give you poverty. That's what, that's what we need. Our prayer should be, man. And then later on, when your house shall get here, you're going to have everything that you ever dreamed of, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep your fringes on there, hard. You see? I woke up this morning, I put my fringes on, and I'm trying to edify my people. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to love one another in order to get to the kingdom. Yahashua told us, man. Let me read it again. We saw with Solomon chapter 14, verse 11. It says, Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall be, shall be, there shall be a visitation. Because in the creature of Yahweh they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. This guy so called Kobe Bryant. You can't say that this was a right choice, a, a good decision for you when you sign your soul to the devil. Now they sacrifice you. Now you're no longer here. And that's when everybody feel like damn, damn, then everybody's touched. Man, stop it, man. Yahweh did it. Okay? Yahweh did it. And I, I'm gonna prove it to you. You know what I'm saying? how are doing it even though Esau gets you to come to him to so he can you know process everything yeah is finishing it up you did so that's what it is man so let's go to Psalms 135 verse 15 that's that's what the heart does man he knows your spirit he knows what you, what you have what you're trying to um, accomplish Psalms chapter 135 verse 15 it, was like, it, was like, it reads, The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of man's hand. Don't worship works, the works of man's hand. That's what Yahweh is saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Silver and gold, diamond, all these other things, they ain't, they ain't false. Okay? So next precept, uh, Habakkuk 2 verse 16, you know, we, it's, it's, we gotta, we gotta wake up man, before the, 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 the devil, Habakkuk 2, Two eighteen, so like back to two verse eighteen. Back to chapter 2 verse 18 say what profit is the graven image that the maker thereof had driven it and the molten image and the teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein so to make dumb dumb idols <laughs> you see that make dumb idols you know what I'm saying every day they melt in a gold to make it higher and then have all these jigs, all God's chosen people going crazy, fighting each other, you know what I'm saying? Ready to kill each other for it. You know? Can you believe that? My father created things for you, heathen, you damn devil Esau, you Edomite, you, you Moabite, you Ishmaelite, you Amalekite. You know what I'm saying? For y'all to to use it against me, to make me lose my salvation? Come on, man! You think you ain't gonna pay for that? Making dumb idols. That's what the scripture says, man. And I already read to y'all in in Sirach, 
12 and 10. They said, never trust thy enemies. Never trust them, man. Think you're going to sign a deal that's, that, that's going to help you? No, man. That's going to help you live forever? No. Yeah, how always warn his people, man. But yeah, hard headed, man. So let's go to Matthew 6 This is your book. This is your Bible, man. you the only one that can understand it and break it down and, and teach the, the truth, man. Only the true Hebrew Israelite, man. The biblical Jews, man. We all black, dark skin, brown skin, man. Some just lighter than the other. You know what I'm saying? Matthew 6, verse 19 says, Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon the earth, upon earth, where mouth and rust still corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. See? Lay not your treasure in heaven. Verse 20 says, But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, where neither mouth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. 21 says, For where your treasure is, there will, there will your heart be also. You know what I'm saying? You look for things on the earth, man. You're looking for too much. You, 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 you know. You willing to do anything? You know what I'm saying that's what you guys be saying. You are willing to do anything. It's whatever. I don't care about your soul. You know, it's that time, man. To wake out sleep, real full of man. Let's go to the book of First uh, Corinthians, chapter three. And like Squeeze trying to make this video just an hour long. Let's go to chapter 3, start at verse 3, start at verse 10. Let's go to chapter 3, verse 3. I must start. Uh, I must start at verse thirteen. First Corinthians chapter three says, "Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what it, what sort it is." Verse fourteen he says, "If any man's work abide which he had built thereupon, he shall receive a reward." If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. You know? And verse uh, 16 says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of your house, and that the spirit of your house dwell in you? If any man defile the temple of your house, him shall your house destroy, for the temple of your house is holy, which temple ye are. Verse 18 says, Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that ye, be, ye may be wise. You know what I'm saying? Verse 19, last one, says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with your heart, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. The wisdom of this world is, is foolishness, man. Those Things they're trying to make you accomplish. They're trying to tell you, build up your money, stack up your money. You know, chase this, chase that. No, chase your how about show my shepherd, y'all shout. That's all you need, man. You don't need more than that, man. You don't need less than that, man. Let's see, let's see who kill. Let's see who make it uh, alive. Let's see who give life. You know what I'm saying? But before that, let me go to the book of Colossians, one twenty-six. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know nothing about this Bible, man. Stop going through these pastors and deceiving you every day, man. Ready to snatch your soul. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26 says, Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, 
but now it's made manifest to his saints. You know what I'm saying? Is made manifest. So now we 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 able to get into this mystery, man. We understand this book was written only for the twelve tribes nation of Israel, and we are the the nation of Israel. We are the descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. We are the sons of uh, Israel, man. Yashahal, prince with power with Yahweh. So verse 27, he said, To whom Yahweh would make known what is the virtues of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is and yet, which is Mashiach and you, the hope of glory. Yahweh is made manifest which the mystery that been hid from generation, man. We understand this truth, man. We understand what's coming on this planet Earth. And I'll be damned if he's still gonna try and snatch my soul, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Yahshua give us strength and power to resist and endure, man. Till, till he get here, man. All praise and all and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. Shalom, man, to the elders, man. Push this truth, man. All these brothers that's doing these works out there, man. That's great, man. I hope and pray your how about you shall keep y'all safe and bless you guys with more wisdom and knowledge and understanding man you know what i'm saying we need this man our soul is thirsty for this man we know there was something that was missing but we didn't know what it was we couldn't figure it out but now we your how spirit is up on us man we're here for that man we, we're here to edify our people man give us uh, some knowledge man so let's see who killed man let's see why we, you don't need to feel no, no type of way man somebody just dropped dead the next day could be the closest to you could be your family member could be whoever man yeah how I plan man go to the book of Deuteronomy Deuteronomy let's see 32 verse 39 you know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on out here, man. Let's see who has the power, man. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 9 says, See now that I, even I, I, I am He, and there's no God with me. I kill and I make a, I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither, there, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When Yahweh Bashan Yahshad trying to get you out of here, you out, man. Just simply deliver you to Satan, and he finished the work. Because that was your, the whole dream, that was your, your whole achievement in life, is trying to let Satan snatch your soul, because you're chasing those idols and molten image. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshan, man. This man, the NBA star legend Kobe Bryant, you know what I'm saying? I feel sorry for you, but you gotta. That's the prime example, man, for all you Jakes, man. That's chasing, that's going the wrong way. You need to come out of that way, man. Don't chase no legend. Don't chase no. Because there's sadness behind him, man. There's a sad story behind him, man, with what's gonna happen to you later on. Seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua first, man. Matthew 6, verse 33. Seek ye for things which is above. Colossians 3, 1, 2, 3. You know what I'm saying? Understand that. So, hey, this lesson was brought to you, man, in the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, man. You know what I'm saying? Come, Yahshua, man. We got next. You know what I mean? That's your house shot, man. You don't worship no image, but the Bible describes him looking like this. Then this devil right here. See what I'm saying? Your house shot is a so called black man, man, from the tribe of Judah. And it's time for payment, judgment for what Esau did to his chosen people, man. Believe it or not, it's coming, man. World War Three is around the corner. I'm saying, all you Levites out there, man, that's living in the states, 
Y'all gotta repent, man. Come out of there, man. Come out of the way of wickedness of Esau, man. Don't chase after his path, man. There's a trap behind him, man. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is gonna destroy all you jigs that don't listen, man. I don't do his will. You know what I'm saying? So, wake up, wake up, wake up, Israel, man. It's time, man. It's time. We've been, we've been sleeping for a while. Last scripture. Jeremiah chapter 1. You know what I'm we've been sleeping for a good long time. It's about time, man. We start in verse 5. Jeremiah chapter 1. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee the prophet unto the nation. You know what I'm saying? We all supposed to be prophets, man. Priests, king, queens. You know what I'm saying? Not no legendary for this world, for Satan. No. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. Verse, verse, uh, verse 10 says, See, I have this day set thee over the nation, over the kingdom of the world. Of the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down the build and and to plant. You know what I'm saying? So Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is the, the 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 only one to follow to worship, man. Saying. And for those of you that have fear that's dealing with persecution and all these things, this Jeremiah chapter 1 verse, 1 verse 8 says, Be not afraid of these faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee. Safe Yahweh Bashim Yahshar, man. You're gonna, you're gonna come across a lot of different faces, a lot of different form of temptation. You know what I'm saying? But Yahweh say, I'm with thee, man, to deliver you. He's not just with, with, with you to watch. He's here to deliver us, man. All oh, praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, man. God, Shem Yahushai, for giving me, bless me with wisdom and knowledge and understanding to come and, you know, trying to give you some edification and, and this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Shalom, man. Shabbat shalom. Hope you are edified. Hope. You know, you guys learn from this lesson, man. Any question, any other things, I'm gonna put my email, you know, my contacts down. You know, what I'm saying you guys can, you know, get with me. You know what I'm saying, brother Tazabat and Levi. Shalom. Have a blessed Sabbath. You know, stay in the faith, stay in the truth. Shalom. Come Yashua. We got next. All praise over now. Yahweh power. Shalom. Thank you.